Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we will see the design and development of this beautiful dashboard in Microsoft Excel. All right. So you can see our today's topic is HR analytics dashboard and the data which we will be using for this particular uh, design and development. It is a dummy data. We are not using any organizational data here and the data for you to practice. I will put uh, the link in the description box of this video from where you can download and you can practice in your system. All right. So uh, you can see this dashboard, it's completely interactive and dynamic because I have used some of the filters or slicers we can say by which this dashboard will be operated. All right. So you can see uh, in this dashboard, uh, if I operate with respect to this uh, particular slicers like for gender, you can see this is completely dynamic. All right. And I have used some extra filters as well. And uh, if, you, if I'm operating this, you can see the data is changing with respect to that education field and we can uh, you know uh, take a uh, insight from uh, from this particular dashboard or hr department can take insight from this dashboard like uh, with respect to education fields how the company is performing and all those things all right and this mainly this uh, dashboard is focused on attrition right so attrition is nothing but uh, the employees who are leaving the company all right so how many employees are leaving by age uh, by gender by marital status by job role etc so we have one more filter like department if you can see uh, whenever i'm operating this the values are changing with respect to that as well all right so let's discuss on different components which are there on this particular dashboard if you can see on the top i have mentioned a title for this particular dashboard and on the right if you can see this is the job satisfaction rating we have a small donut charts which give us the rating so whenever i'm operating the filter you can see the rating is changing with respect to that and i have applied a stars over here right so uh, if you can see overall rating right now for a total company out of four if we can say it is 2.6 right so whenever i'm operating the filters it is changing with respect to that right so uh, you can see uh, for technical degree it is almost four star is there right so we will design this as well then we have used some of the kpis here like five kpis are there which is a called kpi card which is which gives the overall uh, performance of that company it, uh, it is an key point indicator like uh, which, which gives overall idea of your particular hr department right then we have some charts over here like uh, you can see the total employees by gender how we are designing it there are small donut charts which i have used then some shapes are there then we have education wise attrition which a bar we can see horizontal bar chart is used then we have a attrition by job role where we have used a pre map right then we have a, a what we can see department wise attrition which is a pie chart then attrition by group uh, which is called as a frequency chart also we called it as a column chart then we have a funnel chart which gives an idea about uh, attrition by marital status like for divorced married and single employees and then we have a filter panel uh, which uh, takes these two filters you can add many more filters if you want depending upon the requirement all right so we will see the design of this uh, dashboard from start to end uh, in this particular video uh, we will see how to design each and every chart all right and uh, so uh, if you want to explore more visualization tools like Tableau or Power BI, so by using same topic and same data, I have also uh, developed a dashboard for Power BI and Tableau. You can go ahead and check it out. I will uh, put the link in the description box, and you can see that as well if you are interested. All right. And also, uh, before starting the video, I request you all because this takes up uh, so much of effort. Like. Uh, to design and develop this and then make a video out of it so i request you to please subscribe the channel like the video so it can be reached to many of the aspirants or many of the students uh, who are looking uh, to learn this excel dashboarding or mis we can say and also uh, you can turn on the notification bell so that uh, whenever a new video on excel or any of the tool comes it will be notified to you and you can learn from that all right so before wasting much time i will take a new sheet and i will show you the data which we are using so this is a new sheet refresh sheet which we are going to use and this is the data which i have already converted into uh, x uh, what we can say a table you just have to press ctrl t and it will be converted into table 
and if you can see the total amount of data which we are having it is almost almost 1500 data is there okay so it is a dummy data and we have uh, almost 44 columns or 40 to 44 columns are there all right so by using this amount of data we can make many dashboards but for this particular video i have only made one dashboard and i request you to explore more and more more and more columns are there try to understand the data and you can prepare many more dashboard out of this all right and as i always say before starting your dashboard design of any particular visualization tool or, or for any domain first always remember to study the data all right if you already have studied the data it is very much easy for you to create a dashboard uh, from that all right so 70 percent or 60 percent of work is nothing but studying the data how the data is or what we can say populated or uh, brought into the database and at what level it is from what granularity is flowing to the lowest granularity if you have idea of this data then it will be very easy for you to make a dashboard from it okay for me i have already studied the data i have already made a dashboard and i am only repeating for you into this video so i know how the data is there and uh, what are the different parameters what are different fields used here so uh, this will be um, easy for me but for you i request you first spend some time on data and then start your visualization right so this was about data now we will see the step by step visualization so if you can see in this dashboard first we will design this kpis okay then we will design this star ratings and then one by one we will go ahead and design these charts okay and once uh, one by one this is designed we will simultaneously add them into the dashboard all right and then we can see how it is made all right so i have already taken a new sheet here and we will see the step by step information here all right and from this dashboard you will also learn to, uh, come to know how to use pivot tables you might have studied pivot table uh, where it gives summary of all the data which we are having in aggregated format all right so let's start so first what we will do this data which we are having so we will create our first pivot table which is used to create the kpis all right so i will go in insert okay and insert you can see we have a pivot table option right so we will create a pivot table and if they are they are asking you if you want to create a new shoot or uh, sorry on new worksheet or you want it on an existing worksheet so we will always go on new worksheet because uh, it will be uh, not a messy data on one single sheet only whenever you become an expert you can create it on all all everything on in single worksheet only but a good practice is to um, create separate on separate worksheet so it will be easy for you to later uh, debug or change anything if it, anything comes from your customer so i will create create on new worksheet i will click on ok ok and uh, so first what i will do i will just pin my uh, this uh, tabs so i will sh always show ribbon and so my these tabs are always visible so whenever i'm clicking on this particular dialog box or pivot table this pivot table fields are been activated all right and they are asking us to drag and drop uh, the respective fields into respective uh, what we can say card like rows values filters and automatically it will give us the summarized data aggregated data here all right so now first thing what we have to do i will go in this pivot table analyze option so whenever i'm going into this pivot table analyze option so it is activated only when we are clicking on this particular list okay so we can see this is activated and here it is asking the pivot table name okay so always give the name here like uh, i will mention it as kpi because we are designing the kpi so this will be required for us when we are giving the slicer connections okay means whenever we are inserting any slicer that particular slicer connections we have to give to different different pivot tables so how to search our pivot tables at that time the name will be easy for us to and we can directly jump to that particular pivot now as well as i will change the sheet name as as to kpi all right so we are designing our kpi first so what we want first is you can see we want the total employees okay so let's find out the total employees for that we have one column that is employee number okay if you can go into data and search for employee number so you can see each row have an unique number so this is nothing but an employee number all right so uh, we will go ahead and we will use that particular column so i will go in kpi and i will add the employee number into so let's say rows all right 
and no let's put it into values because we want the sum of it or whatever we want to take so it is taking sum of that why because uh, default aggregation is taken as sum in excel so it is taking sum of each and every number we don't want sum of each and every number we want count of it right so for each row it will be counting as one value so what we can take we will go ahead and we will change the field value settings so from here there is a small drop down you have to go on that and from here what we will do we will click on count and we will click on ok so we are getting our total employee count all right the next what we have to do so see whenever clicking outside it will be deactivated so you have to click on that particular pivot table whatever the dialog box has been created or later when you are creating any value you have to click on that all right and if let's say if it has gone so if you have by the mistakely you have cut that uh, particular window so how to bring that back so click on this particular uh, uh, values which are generated from pivot table then go in pivot table analyze option and here you have failed list just click on that it will come back again all right so this is what uh, it is important so many people get confused who are beginners all right the next api which we want is attrition so for that we have column that is cf attrition count okay so we will just take and that and put it into value so this is the total attrition then we want is uh, these two values so before that what i will calculate is the average age okay so for age what we have a value here is age and i will just take it and put it into values okay but we don't want sum of that so we will change again uh, we will click on this particular small drop down field value settings and we will convert it into average and click on okay so this is the average and okay all right so these three kpis we have created we need to create an active employees and attrition rate so how to find the active employees so always remember guys uh, whatever the data or the values which are generated from pivot table okay we cannot take directly in them into the dashboard we have to extract them outside the pivot table okay so this is very important point i will show you why we cannot use but for now i will extract it outside so this is what our total employees i will create one more uh, small table here these are our total employees then this is our attrition count all right then uh, this is our average age and we, we want to determine active employees and we want the attrition rate all right so so these values we already have for total employees just i will press is equal to and i will select this value okay and i will click enter so whatever value it will be changing here it will change here as well all right so let's see an example so first i will i will take all extract all the values then we we want to take the attrition count as well so i will just click okay is equal to we want the average age as well so i will just click on okay all right now we want to determine the active employees and before that i will show you how these values are changed so i will just click on our pivot table go in pivot table analyze i will insert a slicer slicer is nothing but the filter which we will be using here so for now i will just uh, enter a gender filter a small filter i will and click on ok so see now whenever i am clicking on this these values are changing but these are also extracted from here itself so those, those will also change see for male female you can see both values are changing all right so this is nothing but when when we click on this particular clear filter option it will select all the values in that particular filter right the next one what we want is active employees the active employees is nothing but difference between total employees and attrition count attrition count is nothing but 237 employees have left the company uh, or they, we can say they have switched to another job so what are our active employees it is nothing but total minus our attrition count so this is nothing but our active employees all right then we want to return my attrition rate rate is nothing but it is in the form of percentage so what is the attrition rate it is nothing but attrition count divided by total number of employees so it will be what is equal to attrition count divided by total number of employees okay all right so now we can see whenever i'm clicking on this filter the values are changing with respect to that so this is this is now something dynamic why because it is created from this pure table all right then next thing uh, we want this into percentage so we will convert it into percentage we have a small here uh, what we can say a number conversion conversion here sorry and we will increase our decimal points to two and for average age average age is always calculated in a whole number 
so what or with or we can say a fractionless number so i will just remove all the decimal points from here so we have an option here to remove the decimal points and we will make it to perfect number all right so now we can see whenever i'm operating this slicer the numbers are changing with respect to that and i will just click on ok all right so this is what our kpis has been created so now before going ahead i will what i will do i will simultaneously prepare our dashboard also all right so now we will start putting these values in our dashboard so first what i will do uh, i've already created a background for our dashboard so whenever i'm going into this uh, background so i have a sheet created here so i will open this so this sheet has been opened so if we can see here one second all right so if you can see i will just full screen mode so this this is this background i have already created in powerpoint and you can use the same background so we just have to copy from here and we have to put it into our excel sheet the wherever we are using that so if you can see uh, this is a few backgrounds which i have already created for you so these are few backgrounds which i already have created all right so you can you can take any of background whichever uh, you find a beautiful you can take that and you can use that in your dashboard all right so if you want a separate video on how to create this beautiful backgrounds i will let me let me know in the comments i will definitely create a video where you can uh, you know uh, create a beautiful backgrounds for your own dashboards all right take this into our dashboard what we will do we will just go ahead and select this okay so i have already grouped all the elements which are there and i have already grouped into a single element so whenever i am clicking uh, on this particular uh, what we can say layout so everything is selected so i will just press ctrl c and everything will be copied because i have already grouped those and i will go into our excel sheet uh, where whatever we are preparing and we will go into our new sheet and uh, what we will do we will just copy it, paste it here all right and i will just uh, reduce my zoom size and you can see this has been copied over here and i will just take it a liter up and i will just adjust to it right all right so you can see our uh, layout has been copied you can use any layout guys whichever uh, you find beautiful you can go ahead and use that layout i will put the, the layout as well into our description box where you can go ahead and download the layouts as well okay if you can see in the layouts i will show you so uh, if let's say if you want to change the color of this particular layouts into your own color so what you have to do so this is whenever i'm clicking once everything will be selected but whenever i click again you can see each and every uh, elements can be selected so what you have to do you have to just select each and every elements from here and you can just right click and then you can go into format objects and you can go into fill options so whatever fill options we have to give you can give any color if you want so this color if you if you find this color beautiful for your background you can go ahead and choose that if you want this beautiful color this is also good and if you want to change the background of this uh, this particular uh, background like this black background or some grayish background which you have if you change that color so you, once clicked it will be selected all and you just have to create an outside shape and you just have to create the format shape go here and you can change the from your color as well you can see the background has been changed like white all right or you can view if you want dark blue so this is also one way where you can change your uh, background color you can change your own color settings and uh, you can use that into your dashboard all right and there are some uh, recommended uh, options which i have already gave you you can use any of these or you can use your own all right so let's move to our dashboard design and this is the background for this video i will be using and first thing first what we have to do is i will give uh, or first i will start uh, applying the kpis over here the dashboard name i will give later so what i will do uh, what we want here is if we can see our this dashboard uh, what we are doing we are giving a header and then we are copying that value or we are bringing that value over here and we have some small icons here so first i will do i will go ahead and go to our dashboard go to insert and in we have to add a text box here i will just click on text box and i will just draw a text box here and i will name it as total employees all right and i will select this you can go in shape format sorry select this okay see once selected 
it will select the total entire uh, shape you have to click once again so then this shape will be selected then you have to go in shape format and in shape fill you have to say no fill and in shape outline you have to say no outline so we don't want any fill and we don't want any border to this okay then what we'll see we will select everything and then we will go in home and i want to change the font of this so i will be using a lato black font okay so this font is not available already in excel or excel 365 whichever crack version or uh, what we can see 365 version you are using you have to go ahead in google and you have to type lato black font and you have to download it you have to install it and the workbook which is already open you have to close it and reopen the workbook and that then flawed font will be still displayed in your uh, system all right so uh, for now i will make it as a 14 for me 14 font i will just take uh, sorry light of black and i will take it a little up all right so this is my uh, font which i will be using and i will use a color for this a font color which i will be using is i will go ahead and i will use this for more colors and in custom colors i will go and i will go ahead and choose my color so let me see what what color i have chosen so we will be using the same color so we will just go in home and i will select this go in home and go in here so this is the color which we are using I will just go in more colors and I will copy this color code. So we will come back to our dashboard, go in home, go in colors, more colors, custom, and we will copy our color code over here. Okay, perfect. So uh, the color code which we have used, let me show you that again. So you can you can type there, you can type over there also. It's it's uh, not that much of hard. So this is the color code which I are using. Hashtag 6029 Okay. So this is the color code. Then we will create one more text box. So I will go in insert and text box. And I will create a text box over here. So right now what we have to do, we have to bring our value over here. So this value we have to bring it over here. So what we will do, select our text box. Okay. It's it should there should be no cursor. Okay. We just have to select it from outside. Okay. So just select our text box, then go in our formula bar, press is equal to, go to in KPIs options and select this value and press enter. Okay. So I will just repeat the value, uh, repeat again what you have to do. Okay. So just let me delete this first. So select this text box. Okay. So you can see there is one cursor blinking. The cursor should not blink. Select the outline of this text box. Okay. Whenever I'm selecting this, only text box is selected. No cursor is there. Go in formula bar. Press is equal to. Then go to KPI sheet. This KPI sheet and select this and press enter. So why we are using this? Because we are taking taking the reference from that KPI sheet. So whenever value in that particular sheet changes, the value changed value will be changed in our particular dashboard as well. All right. So now we'll click quickly format this again go to shape format and in shape fill we will say no fill and in shape outline we will say no outline because we don't want any border to this then again we will go to home and we will choose our font as letter black all right and then uh, we will use a font as 26 font size i will just put in center and font is letter black all right perfect and the text color for this which we will be using is this one okay the dark blue color in standard colors you can see this is the dark blue color which we will be using just click on ok and our first kpi has been created all right so first we will create all the kpis all right and then i will mention uh, how to add the shapes over here all right so if i go in our this sheet you can see our first kpi has been created same we have created here as well okay so what we, we can do I, I will just increase the size of this a little bit we can make it 15 okay this looks fine all right so now next thing what we have to do is we have to create similar in similar way we have to create the same key so for this what we will do i will select this two okay and i will just control c and control v okay we are just copying it and pasting it and i will bring it over here all right and we can change this name we want it as attrition all right and from home we can go and we can put it at center and i will just put a little up so i will just align it properly for 
me to see so oh, like in that fit that in this particular box the next thing what we have to bring the value from there so click on outside we don't want this value just delete this keep is equal to at is go again in kpi and we want our attribution count select this and press enter okay now what we will do again we will go ahead and quickly format this so next thing what we are using here is lato black is our font so i will choose this again so i will fast forward this and you can follow the same steps again so this is lato black and the font which we are using is 26 all right so the same way again what we will do again control So we have already designed our KPIs. So next thing what we will do, I will change the background here as well. So I will go in a wave and I will hide the grid lines and go in file, sorry, in home. And I will choose the background from here as this. All right, so this looks nice. So we have already created our KPIs. The next thing what we have to do is uh, we will have to add this, uh, uh, what we can say, the job rating. So before that, uh, what we can do is before that what we can do is uh, we will just add our shapes over here okay so to add the shapes into our dashboard what I, whatever shapes i will be using i will add those as well into uh, in the description link in the same excel sheet i will create one say, a different excel sheet with data and all the shapes i will just paste it over there you can use the same shapes so what i will do i will uh, uh, for now i will i have already created those shapes i have already have these shapes here so for employees i will be opening this and i will just go ahead and copy this okay so once again i will copy this go to our excel sheet and just control v all right so i will just make it a little bit smaller and i will paste this over here all right so in similar way you have to place uh, all the shapes to their respective kpis so i will just do it as of uh, uh, immediately so i will just copy this control v just make it smaller so these are our active employees which are working right now okay so employee working is nothing but the active employee and we'll just close this and for other shapes i will go ahead and take this just copy this paste it over here and this is for my attrition rate all right then the next next one is take the age copy control v this is for my age then we want attrition one so this will be for attrition Just copy this will be bring it over here all right so these are where our shapes so what i will do i will just increase the font size of this so i will select all of them okay at once and i will increase the font and i will make it as let's say 18 and i will just okay 18 and i will just take them a little up. all right so this looks nice guys so our kps has been uh, created so next thing i will we will just uh, name our dashboard as well so i will go and insert a text box 
we will add a text box over here and we will name our dashboard as HR analytics dashboard okay then we will select our text box again we will go in shape format and we will say no fill and no outline then we will go at home and we will choose the font as black black okay and i will just increase the size to 32 we can make it as 36 also right. and if we want we can increase this to 40 it's, that's too large 38 no 37 okay this is good and we will change the color to blue all right and i will add a logo for hl analytics dashboard as well so this is the logo which we are going to choose I'll just copy and paste here oops copy copy Okay. perfect so our uh, what we can see the kpis and the dashboard naming has already been done so next what we have to do is we have to add a, a job satisfaction rating over here all right so to do that first we will give the names over here first immediately uh, and for that first we will add our shape uh, for that shape uh, we will be using this shape i will just copy and i will go ahead and add that shape over here all right and we will insert a text box as well and this is the text box and i will name it as job satisfaction rating all right and same we have to do we have to say no field and no line we will go in home we will change the font to letter black we will center it and we will make the font as 14 or if we can make it as 16 is also fine and we will change our this color okay so it's too big so we will decrease the font we'll make it as 14 all right so this looks good so now what just we have to add our uh, ratings over here so before that what we have done here is guys uh, if you can see into our this dashboard we have added one uh, donut chart with a small donut chart and then we have added a rating for rating what we have done we have added a stars over here and behind that there is uh, one more uh, bar chart so how to do that that is important i will show you how to do that so first let me take this a little this side we just have to do many adjustment in excel it is very much easier to do in power bi and uh, or w uh, because those are special visualization tool excel take a little much effort to do but yeah we can we can manage uh, that much all right so for uh, to make this first what we will do we will go ahead uh, in our uh, uh, this particular data and first we will create a pivot table so i will just go in insert and i will create a pivot table okay on new sheet and same we have to change the name so i will just name it as rating and we will name the sheet as well as rating all right so uh, for that what we have is a job satisfaction rating uh, job satisfaction one field is there and uh, we just we will go ahead and put it into values and instead of uh, some we will take it as average okay so this is our overall job satisfaction rating so just what i will do i will uh, keep it up to one single decimal point all right and now from here we have to create our pie chart 
or what we can say uh, first we will create a donut chart so for that i will take here is uh, what i will do i will take uh, i will extract the uh, values these values uh, outside of the pivot table to create a donut chart all right so uh, for this i will take uh, this is the my rating and total so out of or what we can say remain or we can say balance rating we can name it as balance rating okay so this is what this is our total rating so it is 2.6 percent is equal to what is our balance so our total rating is uh maximum is four and minimum is one so if it is maximum is four so i will just uh negative it from minus four and this we want to two decimal points okay so this is what 2.6 plus uh, 1.4 is nothing but total is four of ratings because out of four how many ratings has been given uh, by that particular employee uh, about his experience in that company all right or we can say a job satisfaction ratings so now next thing what we have to do we have to create a percentage from this okay so what we will do we will create a percentage so we will take this divided by the total of uh, uh, all the ratings so this is nothing total is nothing but divided by four we will just create from four and i will just decrease it down so you can see the total job satisfaction rating is 2.6 out of how much uh one point uh, like out of 165 percent uh is the good job satisfaction ratings and 0 0.34 this is a good satisfaction rating all right the next thing uh I, I, what we can do is we are we can create a uh pie chart from here so I'll just select this. I will go in insert and go here and I will select the pie chart. All right. So this is our pie chart. The next thing what we will do, uh, we will have to design this pie chart. So, but we don't want the title. So we just delete this and we don't want the legend as well. Okay. So this is the pie chart which we will be using. So I will just make it a little smaller and keep it over here. And we will in try to insert a slicer and see if everything looks good. So I will just insert a slicer, not a timeline insert a slicer of gender click on ok so let's see if it's working fine for male or female yeah it is working you can see the values are changing with respect to that all right the next thing what we will do uh, i will copy this and we will bring it into a dashboard okay i will name this sheet as dashboard and we will paste it over here and we will try to adjust it over here All right. So now we will quickly format this object or this particular uh, donut chart. So just right click and click on format chart area. In fill say no fill. We don't want any fill to this chart area and we don't want any border line as well. Okay. So now when you can see it is clean right now. So select again and now we want to uh, change the colors for this. Okay. So uh, whatever the colors we are using here, uh, I will not use the same colors which I have used in my this dashboard. I will try to use some different colors. Okay so or uh, if you can see uh, if i find some colors uh, here i can i can use same colors so now click on this particular bar chart okay so this is selected on internal this particular pies you have to click okay then go to uh, this what we can say this series options and we will decrease the size all okay we can make it 70 all right then go to this first one okay the first uh, what we can say pie which is in uh, this color what we can say orange color select on that and then go to fill option and in fill option actually choose this okay uh, make it as a gray one okay and click or choose the transparency as uh, let's say five percent okay and then next select this one the outer part that is blue one and for this blue we are going to use different colors that is gradient one okay and uh, in this gradient color what i will choose uh, i will just delete this select this and delete this select this we don't want only we don't we want only two gradients so i will just select the first one and i will choose yellow for this and for this i will just choose the green one uh, what we have done we have done it for border we don't want border here so we'll just click on no and we want it to for fill okay we don't want to do it for border we want it for fill so i will go in gradient again and i will change here uh, for this first i will take as this dark blue for second we will be taking as for this we will be taking it as this one 
or we will take this this green all right so this looks nice and again for go to second another pie which we have selected which we created a white color for it and for this again say no border all right and in solid fill this is already uh, we have done already this okay so you can see our uh, this this is already been created so we will just increase a little bit size of this okay. and we will place it properly so it's fitted uh, in this particular area nicely and the next thing what we have to do is we have to give a small kpi over here all right so what we will do go we will go in insert and we will create a text box and we will add it over here and we will select that text box uh, we don't want any cursor we will click is equal to we will go in rating and we want this rating to be displayed and we should go okay we will increase a little bit size for this and we will go in home center middle we will choose the font as light or black okay and we will make the color as blue okay and go in the shape format we don't want any outline and we don't want any fill for this all right so looks nice so this our donut chart has also been created the next thing what we have to do is we have to create the star rating over here all right so for that star rating what we have to do we will uh, go into our same pie chart or what we can see in same rating option or in the sheet we have already created i will just control c and i will create control v over here so i will i will create another pie chart but here we don't want uh, a job satisfaction rating uh, what i will do uh, for job ratings uh, or we can use the same uh, as well so i will just close this and from these two values i will create a bar chart so we, i will just delete this for now and we have these two values so just go in insert and we can create a chart from here i will take it as a stack bar chart okay so this is our stack bar chart we don't want title delete this we don't want axis delete we don't want the labels we don't want the grid lines we just hide the grid lines as well and now select this chart okay outer world of the chart right click and go to select data and here you can see switch row and columns just we just have to switch it over here okay oops click on outer part then go to select data switch okay and just go ahead here and we can click on axis okay we want the axis so now we can see why we want the axis i will tell you so you can see it is ranging from 0 and it is up to 4.5 but we want it up to only 4 so we will we will change our axis manually instead of directly going in uh, taking automatic whatever excel is choosing for us we will do it manually so we will click on format axis okay so minimum it is saying uh, the minimum we want it as zero and the maximum we want it as four click enter so you can see our axis has been modified and now we can see with respect to our male female uh, as well uh, a slicer it is changing so i will add one more slicer uh, which is the education field and we can see if it is working properly for this as well so i will add a education field and let's see if it is working yeah it's working fine okay so i will just now delete this we don't want this as well and we want a clean bar chart okay so what we will do we will increase the uh, what we can say the size of the bar so i will just right click on bars okay and go in format series and go in this series options okay and you can see the gap width i will increase the gap width so decrease the gap width make it up to zero okay means what it will be from end to end of these borders the chart will be filled into this particular area all right so this is what we have created the bar chart so after creating our bar chart which is a converted form of a stack bar chart uh, we have just switched the data series we have created this bar we need to create an stars okay so like uh, we will have to create a shape of stars behind which this will go and then we will be using our uh, star rating so what we will do for that we need a powerpoint so we will go in powerpoint and here we will create our stars okay so go in insert and go in shapes and in below in stars and banners we have a star over here so i will click here and i will create a star okay all right so this this is fine then i will just we want four stars so i will copy this and i will paste it three times okay and then i will bring it over here and 
uh, align it properly or if it is not aligned that is also fine just i will bring it over here and i will just select all of them and i will align it to middle middle is nothing but it is aligned properly in perfect horizontal shape and i will just go and align and i will distribute it horizontally so what does this it, uh, it, it distributes the stars horizontally in perfect manner all right and uh, if you want if you can bring them a little closer as well and right so this is fine now what we want we want a rectangular shape which will be on uh, which will be created over them exactly right so this looks fine i will just take it a little up and now what we will do i will select that rectangular shape and i will send to back okay i will send it to backward all right and i will just select the shape and i will take it uh, make sure that the stars are perfectly in vertical way they are in middle so i will just select our uh, background shape first that is a rectangular then select all the stars by pressing the control okay make sure the rectangular uh, shape is selected first then go in shape format go in merge and just subtract okay so what will happen now we have subtracted so what we uh, we can see that our only single shape is there now and you can see it has been created nicely so we will be using this same into our dashboard all right so i will just copy this for now and we will go into our excel go to our dashboard and copy here okay, and this is what we will be using over here so i will just increase the size a little bit oops and we will use this okay so now first i will take it down a little bit right and now we will take our ratings and we will add it over here okay so this is uh this 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 will take some time for you because it should be perfectly aligned guys okay make sure it is perfectly aligned and it should be fitted properly into our stars okay it will some take some time for you to format this so first what i will do i will just click in chart area and i will create no fill no line okay and i will choose this uh, solid color to be as uh, this one and for this i will choose the color as white okay and then we will try to bring this to our shape and click on this shape right click and bring to front or we can say click on this sorry and we can send this to back control z we will delete this and we will again bring it from this control c and paste it over here all right Control V. Okay, looks nice. Just increase the size. Right, so just I will take it down and we will increase the size of this. All right, so then we will click on format shape and we will say for this as uh, not a no fill uh, we will fill it it to white color all right and we will go this and we will say no line here so you can see uh, this has been done so this will take some a little formatting for you so i will go again to the shape and i will go to edit format shape and i will increase the transparency to let's say 10 percent or not 10 percent we will increase to five percent perfect so i guess not required we will keep at zero and we will choose this color all right this looks nice so this has been created guys so our star ratings has been uh, applied properly so make sure you first copy the chart and then you copy the star rating because it was not going back right we want to send it to back but it was not going 
so first create first bring our uh, that particular chart from star rating this bar chart copy this to dashboard first and then bring your uh, other one to the uh, sheet right so this is how it will work and if you want we can increase the size of uh, a little bit so it will look perfectly nice this is fine and we will take it up again all right and if you want we can bring our slicer and see how it works on dashboard perfect so for three it looks perfectly nice and for four three point nine it looks this nice delete okay i will click it on all and this job satisfaction rating has also been done so we have completed our top uh charts or what we can say kpis and our job satisfaction ratings and our uh, the title everything so next part is remaining is charts